Today I want to show you the best export settings for YouTube and Final Cut Pro X and I'm also going to show you how to make a preset for future exports to make it nice and easy. So once you are finished with your video, let's go ahead and click in the upper right hand corner for the export and we're going to click Master File. Now one thing you may notice what it defaults to is the .mob which then creates a very big file. So for example, this is a 26.59 gigabyte file. But what we wanna do is convert this over a .mp4. So what we're gonna do is up here on the top, we're gonna to go under settings, and then right by format, let's click that, and go down to computer. Then under video codec, you wanna click that and hit better quality. Now your resolution depends on if your video is 4K or 1080. So if you click, you can obviously change the adjustments. So if you're 1080, you'd click down below here, but this is a 4K video, so I'll keep it on that one. And then the rest of these, I'll just keep the same. So down here, you'll notice it's a .mp4 file and look at the difference. It's now only 2.79 gigabytes, which is awesome. So all you gotta do is hit next. And then basically you're going to want to do is find where you want to export the video to. So I do want to export this to an external hard drive. You can rename the file up there and then you can hit save. Now I just want to show you real quick on how to make a preset. So it all automatically default to this. So let's go ahead and hit cancel here real quick. Once again, let's go to the upper right hand corner, click the export. And this time we're gonna add a destination. So click that. And then once you're on this under destinations, where it says export file, let's grab that file. We're gonna drag it over to the left. Now, right here, we can actually adjust the settings for YouTube. So let's go ahead and click on the format, go to computer, video codec. We're gonna to go to better quality and then resolution, I'm gonna default this to 4K resolution on for this one. And then once you get that all set up, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna double click where it says export file and I'm gonna call this YouTube videos. Click off to the side and then here's the last little trick. You can actually click on this and you can drag it up the list here. So I'm actually gonna set that up right below the master file. Then once you're all done there, just go ahead and click off. So the next time you create a YouTube video, just go ahead to the upper right and you should see YouTube videos right here. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, share the video if anybody you think this could help them out and we will catch you guys in the next video.